Hey guys, Tonic here. Another Tuesday, another Atomic Shop review. This week in the Atomic Shop, we have a brand new bundle. It's called the Feel the Music Bundle, and it's being sold for 1,500 atoms. And I just picked it up, so let's go check it out. First up, let's take a look at the performance stage. Now this is an older item, this has been in the game for a while, and in this bundle there is a few older items mixed in with some newer stuff, but the stage is pretty cool. So you do have this little staircase that goes up, and it's about two foundations wide. Now I will say when placing items on here, sometimes they do kind of sink like that, and you have to kind of find the perfect spot to place it. But overall it's not too bad, and I actually find myself using this item a lot. I like to place vendors up there, and sometimes I'll even put some workbenches on there. Next up, let's take a look at the two instruments that you're going to get with this bundle. First, the guitar is just a little guitar made out of a suitcase, and the skull drum set is actually kind of cool. So you have these skulls around the top, some spikes on the drums, and even some bones down below on the pedals. Now, I believe that this guitar maybe came out two years ago, and I think the drum set came out last year, but let's go ahead and see how they sound. Up next with this bundle, you will also get a modern ceiling fan. Now this is only going to cost one copper, one glass, and two steel to place, and we can actually place it right above the stage. Now it looks sort of basic, but I kind of like that. It does emit a white light, and we cannot turn it off, so it's always going to be on when it's powered. Up next, we have a brand new outfit called the Rockabilly Outfit. Now this outfit is kind of cool, there's a few patches and pins on there, so right on the shoulder we have a peace sign as well as a number 13. On the sides here we have a snake, and there's another snake on that side, and then Rockabilly 76. Going down we have some jeans with a chain, and then you have some normal shoes. And here is a quick look at the back of the outfit. And the back's kind of cool, you have this big patch in the middle, then down at the bottom it says West Virginia Let's Rattle. Along with that new outfit you will also get the black paint for the Pip-Boy. Now this paint is a little basic, but it does match the outfit pretty well. And along with the Pip-Boy skin, you will also get a skin for the Death Tambo. This one is called the Bony Death Tambo, and it's just going to add some bones and eyeballs to it. And one tiny detail about this skin, it will actually change the sound of the weapon. So now when you swing it, it sounds like there's some bones rattling. <laughs> And lastly, with this bundle, you will also get this air guitar photo mode pose. But that just about covers everything inside of the new bundle, so now let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the Atomic Shop for those at work and just can't get on right now to see everything. So on the front page, we have all the Rockabilly stuff, and we do also have this new construction worker bundle. Now this bundle is sort of like the Rockabilly one. A lot of these items are older and have been in the game for a while. So I am going to be skipping this one because I don't really wear power armor too much. But going over to the second page here, we have the stuff from last week. Over on the Greatest Hits page, we have the Vault Tech paints, the Park Swim suits, the red truck bed trailer with junk, a black ceramic wallpaper, the sparklers photo mode pose, and the lost emote. Over on this page, we have the sales from I think two weeks ago. And over on the special page, we have the Grognak Wax figure for Fallout First members, a Fallout First sale on the Invader skin, the blue shirt and slacks, a free supply package, and the Hellcats frame. And taking a quick look at the weekly challenges, we have complete a Gold Star Daily Challenge three times, collect 2,500 caps, complete five daily operations on a public team, complete the Mothman Equinox Daily Challenge five times, consume a Nuka Shine in a teammate's camp three times, eat 25 pre-war food, kill 10 glowing creatures, kill five legendary creatures, plant a crop in a workshop or camp 25 times, and scrap junk to brew silver 10 times. So overall, I'm honestly a bit disappointed with the Atomic Shop this week. I was really hoping that the recent update we got would fill up the shop with a ton of new bundles, but this week we just got two new bundles made up of a ton of older items. Now with that being said, the new Rockabilly outfit is pretty cool, I do like it, and the bundle itself is pretty good, the stage is awesome, and I really like the drum set, but I just wish we would get a whole new bundle full of new stuff. Maybe a Mothman themed one for the Mothman Equinox coming back or something like that. But hopefully next week we can get some new stuff. But that is pretty much going to be it for this video, so I would like to say thank you so much for stopping by and watching, I really do appreciate it. And as always, I would like to give a massive thank you to all of the channel members, 
Blake Heath, David McDermott, Barrett Codes, Arjun Deer, Joe Pervincente, Shaky Hands Workshop, Mazader, Leo the Collector Plays, As Death 93, Loopy, Adam Steinson, Terry Lockridge, Zapper, Robert Kennard, CRM114, Theodore, Slappy Sauce, King Kittens, Omniprotus, Victrix, Axel, Kevin W, Anna S, Fallout McFly, Network Gate, Gold T, Lanthar, Captain Awesome, Citizen Girl, Heather Henderson, Patrick Ruda, 23 Ice Fire, J Smith, Bowser Double Frank, Christy Mellon Schwitz. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys and have a great day.